Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be making a video. I know the matchup got booked. I know the matchup got booked a year and a half ago. Oh, not, no, wait, what? What? A year and a half ago? Oh, I meant to say, matchup was made a week and a half ago, or maybe two weeks ago now. But I just want to make it because I have no content. Um, well, till again, Vittori Costa recap, of course. But um. Wait, what is it? Israel Desanya versus Robert Whitaker 2. Early prediction and breakdown. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this prediction. I'm gonna do a prediction and breakdown of this. Telling you what I think. Who I think wins the fight. I did this with a lot of people. Like eight people now. I did this with Tori Costa. I'm not gonna name it. You can go from the channel. But. I recently just did this with Nganu Gan. Nganu versus Cyril Gan. Francis Nganu versus Cyril Gan. I'm gonna do it now, Adesanya Whitaker. Starting with, uh, I do believe Israel Adesanya wins. I think he wins it, but I, I don't mind Whitaker's chances and I might pick him. I don't know yet. It's in February. Oh, it's in February. I think it's an awesome matchup. I think Adesanya wins it, man. Whitaker's good. Whitaker's so good, man. Whitaker's very good. Looked, changed a lot of his, changed a, a bit of his style lately. Um, beat Jared Kennanier. Uh, not as well. Beat Jared Kennanier. Beat Kevin Gaston his last fight. But, like, legit toyed with Gaston. I know Gaston took it on short notice. And maybe you can say this. Oh, well. Adesanya went to war against Gasolum, and he was a close fight. Whitaker absolutely toyed Gasolum each and every round. But Gasolum took that one on short notice and cost it. Watch Gasolum come in against Costa this weekend against Vittori. Against Vittori. We'll see how Gasolum's takedown defense. Let's see how Gasolum's takedown defense does this weekend. But um, I, I think Adesanya can get this one. Whitaker. Do that fight. Beat Darren Till. Um, I don't see how you can give that fight to Darren Till at all. I think I think it was maybe four. I think it was four one Whitaker. If you gave that fight to Till, that's a robbery. Whitaker did good in that one. Looked really good with the blue kicks, leg kicks, good jabs, and looked just straight up really good against Till. It looked like he was just new. I th I chose Till there to win by TKO, and then he moves on to Jared Kennanier. I'll get to Adesanya. I, I promise you. I'll get to Adesanya. Um, moves on to Jared Kennanier. Looks really good. Looks really good in that one. It was closer. I thought Whitaker won. I think Whitaker. I think Whitaker could have won 29-28 in that fight. Um, it was close though. Really close, but I think Adesanya can exploit Whitaker with the leg kicks. Um, we saw, we have saw, Kennanier can do some leg kicks. I think Till dropped. I think I'm proud to say this about Darren Till. Um, that one doesn't really age well for Whitaker anymore. I'm just gonna say that now. Um, if I was, if Adesanya and Till fought, Adesanya would toy Till. Actually, TKO him. Because Brunson, god damn it, the middleweight division is so bad. But, um, I was trying to, um, what the hell happened? Um, it might be my don't, oh my, my, I want to my phone down right now. Okay. Adesanya, my phone's kind of broken as well. Adesanya, like, He's gonna exploit those leg kicks, as you know. Sits on the outside, chops at your legs for the first three rounds at least. Before, and except for if he gets the finish on you, like he did against Paul Costa, got the finish. I reckon Whitaker would beat Costa as well. Don't get me wrong. But Whitaker, you know, like he beat Jared Kennedy. I forgot what happened. I, I, I think 
Well, Jerry can get rocked in that some moments in that fight. Whitaker showed a good, a good pace and showed good cardio in that fight. So, and Adesanya has good cardio as well. I reckon he has a little bit better cardio than Whitaker. I reckon so. Um, but you know, look at there. Beat Kelvin Gastelum, as we know. Uh, Gastelum didn't even get a single round on him. Domination by Robert Whitaker. I chose ten, I chose Kenny Near to beat Whitaker, by the way. But yeah, um. Whitaker, man, really looking good lately. Those ga- that Gastelum, and uh, what's his name? Uh, the Gastelum, and uh, Tillwin doesn't really age well anymore. Kenny Near win kind of ages pretty good, but Kenny Near could have lost to Gastelum. This is the thing I'm talking about, bro. I thought he won it three two, but like, come on. But um, look good there. But move on to Adesanya. I'm Whitaker, as we know, Winter War with Duval Romero. Duval Romero, I thought the second fight was a draw. First fight with Whitaker. Okay, let's just say more about Whitaker, man. Whitaker, six feet tall. Adesanya, six foot four. I think he's six foot four, three. Four, six foot four. He's gonna have a height and height advantage in 73.5 in each. 70, 75. 75, 73, 73.5 inch reach for Whitaker. Um, Asanya 80 inch reach. It's just, you gotta look at this, man. Oh, shoot. Um, but yeah, um, Marvin Vittori, last fight, you beat him. Um, I actually predicted Asanya to just beat and batter him, kinda. And that's what he did. Uh, but man, Adesan- Marvin Vittori is taking on Paul Costa this weekend. Adesanya's children, as he likes to say it as. But, do you see Adesanya's Vittor- Adesanya's breakdown? Uh, Stylebender style breakdown? Uh, his channel's free, Stylebender, all caps. Um, him, his Vittori Costa breakdown is hilarious. You need to go check it out. But, um... <coughs> Oh, my phone keeps getting wet. But, um, Marvin Vittori beat just completely. I would say dominate him, but he did outclass him for the five. He won every round. Fair play, he won every round, but he didn't dominate Vittori. Like, to be fair, he won every round and won basically everything. Vittori had his back at some moments. If I was Whitaker, and if Whitaker should do this, I know people say. Oh, Whitaker, oh, he, uh, he needs to not lunge forward this time. But he kind of has to. Like, I understand. Jan Blachowicz, that's, let's just look at that fight real quick. Jan Blachowicz. Jan Blachowicz. There's excuses on his funny lost that fight. And Izzy fans, I noticed this. Don't mention the Jan Blachowicz fight. I understand people, the Izzy fans will say, oh, it came in, uh, uh, um, it was a different way. Yeah, it was a different way. Jan Blachowicz out, technically outstruck Izzy for three rounds at least. I thought, personally, it was 5 0 yen. And Jan Blachowicz is just very good. Don't see him losing to anybody in the light heavyweight division. Kind of spoiler of. Him versus Teixeira uh, prediction and breakdown, but um, I think Jan Blachowicz is the one. I think he's like I think he's my he's my favorite champion, second at least, or maybe. Uh, uh, but by me me saying that, he's actually probably my one of my favorite champions, at least the second, at least in the top three, because like, like, you know, because there's uh, there's. Is there anybody? Oh, Charles Oliveira. I like Charles Oliveira. I'm gonna hope he beats Poirier. I hope he beats Poirier, man. That fight, those, that fight, and Michael Chandler, Justin Gaethje are the ones I can't pick. I don't know who to pick. Because, uh, like, never mind. Uh, um, Jan Blachowicz, uh, very good. There's no shame in losing to him. Um, uh, Paul 
Paul Costa beat him, made him look like a fool. And he straight up, and Tori, uh, before saying that, um, oh, and let me say some couple things. Vittori had Ilhani's back. I understand, but Ilhani stayed calm, reversed, uh, went on top. Vittori was on his back, just similar to like, similar to Usman Burns, but like Ilhani was much closer, landing, uh, landing some effective shots. But like he's improved his takedown defense a lot, because we saw he got taken down by Jan Blahovic in the later rounds. Kind of crapped himself there as well. I actually, I actually like Israel Sanya's uh, ground game. But as we know, he's just gonna try to chop your legs, and he tried doing that against Jan Blahovic. He tried. He tried doing that. Blahovic checked the leg kicks, uh, landed uh, good jabs. Whitaker, Whitaker doesn't have the same technique. In striking, in my opinion, as Jan Blahovic would. But Jan Blahovic is a beast. This is just... He's a beast, bro. Absolute savage. But, um... I'd be so sad if he loses to Shara. But, um... But, he beat him. Uh, chopped at Yuel Romero's legs. I know people... Some people I know some people say... Romero could have won. Like, I don't get what Romero's game plan was in that fight. Um, I think Ostani won the fight uh, three rounds to two, maybe 4-1. But I understand that was a boring fight, but it was also a little bit of a, tech, a technique fight. I know people don't really like technique. Oh, we want wars. We want knockout, flatline KOs. We want war. We want Sanchez Guida stuff. We want freaking Lawler McDonald stuff. Actually, watching it back, I, lo- I watched Lawler McDonald back. It's actually not that great of a fight. It's just bloody. It was just a bloody fight, you know? It was a good fight. It was like, I don't know. I don't understand. It was a good scrap. Awesome scrap. But it wasn't like a 10 out of 10. I'd say it's like an 8.5, 8.5 out of 10. Because some like, cause both of them at some moments weren't throwing that as much shots. But, like, I don't know. But, Asanya, if I was Whitaker, I would wrestle Asanya. Make him gas out. If I was Whitaker, I would improve my cardio, um, improve my uh, gas tank, same thing there, um, and improve my, my takedowns. I'd try out, cardio- out, car- out cardioing Israel Asanya. Trying to improve the takedowns to out grapple him in the later rounds, make him gas out. I would not. I know people say, "Oh, but he, why is he lunging? Why is he lunging?" He kind of has to lunge. If I was Whitaker, I'd land overhands here against Robert. Uh, not Robert. Against what the hell? A demon came on me. Against Israel Sonia. We'll see, man. You know. Um. I reckon Adesanya is going to win this fight. Three rounds to two. I reckon I reckon this will happen. Adesanya is going to chop the legs for the first two rounds. Land the shots. Just completely chopping his legs first two rounds. Whitaker will check some light kicks. But it will also be kind of eh. Like Vittorian Costa. Just eh. Chop my legs. But, um, yeah, it's just, I don't understand that much. I hope, I hope, who do I want to win? I kind of hope Adesanya moves up again. I kind of hope, I hope he moves up again, but against someone else. Because, John Blahovic, it's not going to be anyone else. Blahovic will stay champion for, until he retires, I reckon. I reckon he'll take on Chera, knock him out in round one easy. Then, um, take on, sadly, because Rakic and Smith might fight, Yuri Prohaska beat him. I think he would beat him. Then take on Rakic after he beats Smith, or Smith. There's a chance of that, but I reckon Rakic beats Smith. Rakic gets a tough shot, beat him. Then, by then, 
who's going to be the top. Maybe Michael Ben Ankalaev. There's a possibility if he does get Oz Demir, one more guy, and then title shot. But, yeah, I think I'm missing somebody, though. And it's pissing me off. But there might, might be it, right? That's it. Maybe Santos down the line. Then the whole should let him in go. Whether you like it or not, John Jones. John Jones is not a thing, bro. Hate him. I hate John Jones. Um. But yeah, light. Uh. But yeah, I think Whitaker gets it done. No, 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 Whitaker. Why do I keep? Why is this? I'm never doing these early prediction breakdowns. I'm never. I always get mind played. So annoying. But I think Whitaker has to go for the ground here. But Adesanya just makes them all easy. I know Anderson Silva. Okay. Anderson Silva almost beat Israel Adesanya. I was kind of hoping for an upset and a decision. But Silva did good, man. I know Adesanya has massively improved since then. But, like, who would have got that in a five-rounder? I don't mind Silva's chances. Like, getting the last two rounds or something. It was really close. But, um... Anderson Silva, he was old, man. It was a sp- it was a sponge scrap, I understand, but I think um, I, I'm gonna go, probably gonna go with uh, Adesanya here, get it done. At first, when the fight was actually made, when it was actually like made, I was kind of picking Whitaker, but then I looked, yeah, he gets chopped, kind of got rocked in that jerk and in your fight really badly, survived, but you know. I kind of wish that Kenanier Whitaker fight was a was a um, five rounder. That would have been really fun. That would have been really interesting. Whitaker probably would have won, but like, come on. Um, I'm gonna go with um. I'm gonna go for Israel Asanya. Also, I want to say something. He has guy now. Under uh, rounds is like he goes right back, but um. He has gyno. And YouTube better not take this off. It'd be sad if they do. <laughs> this will be the end. You know, it's just. YouTube better not take this off. He has gyno. I think Israel Asanya um, has gone on. Other people are following his path, like guys like Wellington Terman, Danny Gay, has stupid dumb, big. They have a bigger breast than the other. They have a bigger breast than the other. If you didn't hear that right, that is crazy. This needs to stop. I actually, Corey Anderson, um. Corey Anderson. <laughs> he has kind of gyno as well. And I don't even know if he beats Nemkov. I actually don't even know. But yeah, that's the end. I'm going to go with Asanya. It'll be like the gas one fight. It'll be close. Asanya will win um, Win the first two rounds. Maybe Whitaker can edge the third. Asanya will steal the fourth. Then Asanya will think he won 4 1 and let Whitaker win the fifth. But. 48 47, 49 46, 48 47. Wait, 48 47. Asanya, 48 47. Whitaker. No. Actually, 48 47, 48 47, 49 46. Favor of Asanya. And still. Israel, the lifestyle bender. Asanya. I think he gets it done. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Um, I just don't trust, I don't trust Whitaker, man. I really do. I might pick him, but I'm going to go with freaking, what's his name? I'm going to go with Darren, no, no, I'm not going to go for Darren Till. Scasa? I'm going to go with, uh, Israel Sonia. Um, I think he gets it done. Decision. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Um, I just have no content to make. 
and my phone's kind of broken. Um, gonna have to get it fixed tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I think Adesanya wins it. I think he's better than Whitaker. We'll see though. Um, but Jan Blahovich is just better than Robert Whitaker in my opinion. Jan Blahovich is different stuff. Jan Blahovich is different stuff. I like Jan Blahovich. I think he wins it. No! What? This, these early prediction breakdowns mind game me. I hate doing them, but I'm gonna still do them. I keep picking, oh. Like, like I don't know. I'm gonna go for Tanya. Uh, like, subscribe, goodbye. Peace out, guys. Woo! Oh my god. Peace out, guys. Woo! Peace. Get out of here. What? Get out of here. Get peace.